And so it is the first week of March and I thought today we would do a quick um, house plant tour so that you could see all of the new spring growth um, from some of my beautiful plant babies. So here we go. Well, here we go. Okay, I'm going to probably turn the camera around a little bit so you guys can actually see the plants instead of looking at me. Um, so bear with me, okay? Okay, so here we are in the little propagation station. Um, there is not a whole lot happening um, over here, but this is a hosta that I've kept inside. Um, it was just so little that I didn't think, um, I got it in the fall and I didn't think that it would survive the winter. So I thought I'd bring it in, see what would happen. Um, and it's living. <laughs> um, it's lost quite a few little leaves, but it's grown a couple new ones. Um, so I'll get it out in the ground in probably a month's time. Um, anyways, what I really wanted to show you guys here um, are the string of pearls. They are doing so great. Look, they've been in um, under this grow light all winter. I've kept them watered. Um, just did a little bit of like the fish food fertilizer stuff. Um, but I mean they're so lush up top that they look so great. Um, they're kind of stringy down here So I'll probably end up trimming them again um, Just so that they can really grow thick and lush all the way down um, But looking super impressive um, Also, I think my little hen and chicks are gonna start they're kind of like getting wobbly um, and you can see on the one by my thumb that it has its first little baby um, this plant was gifted to me by a friend um, who just I mean, we've known them for years, um, but they just moved in across the street, well, down the street and across, kind of. Anyways, they're our neighbors, um, and I gave her some Creeping Jenny, um, so she gave me some chickpeas, and I just haven't put them outside. Um, anyways, everything else is super great and robust over here. Um, oops, I literally just dropped a, a leaf. Anyways, um, this guy... Are, you can see in there there's three cuttings that have grown so great this one over here was like one cutting and like one leaf um, and it has turned into four leaves um, the other two haven't produced anything yet but they're alive this is um, cuttings from my manjula my manjula pothos that you all helped me identify so it is looking great and I think this year um, at least this one half is really gonna take over so I'm pretty excited about that um, let's see. So let's move on down. Um, you guys know my Moonshine Sansevieria, um, has had some trouble. We dropped a bunk bed on it <laughs> this winter. It's never dull around here, guys. Um, so we had some damage, but here's a baby, um, that is growing and it's as tall now as the mother plant. So it's doing great. Um, let me turn it around here. Um, one of the other babies died. Um, it got, it didn't die. It broke um, when the bunk bed fell on it right here. So I took a cutting um, and I'll show you it's growing right now. But anyways, this guy over here has like, let me get down there, has quite a few little nubs in there. There's one, there's one. Um, so lots, and there's another one over here. Um, so lots of new growth on that baby. And this had a third baby that it started um, last year, and it's, um, sorry, it's in my office. <laughs> so you've probably seen it over there. Um, there's my whale fin, shark fin. I never call it the right thing. Anyways, that's what it's going to do. I don't think it's going to grow any babies. Sorry. Um, but then up here, look at this. Let me take it out for a second, maybe. Woo! Here we go. Okay, um, I just repotted this. Let's come down here on the mantle for a second, or the hearth. So this guy, I put it in a bigger grower's pot because it had so many babies. I just just transplanted it. Probably could have gone bigger, um, but I wanted this plant to look really squished because I like how um, thick and broad the leaves are, and I was afraid that they would like fan out too much if that makes sense, with all the babies pushing on everything. Um, so I kind of wanted to keep it in a small pot, but there's definitely more room. I went up almost an inch, I think. I mean, like, this, the grower's pot that it came in was, like, so tiny. Anyways, this guy is looking so good, and I'm so excited. I just love spring growth. Anyone else, like, I really just need... <laughs> I need spring this year. We've had, all four of us had influenza B um, at the same time. Um, I also was pregnant at the time. 
lost that baby. And so like, I just feel like I'm ready for this winter to be over. On to newer and better things. So anyways, this Sansevieria has like the same color pattern, but it's so much narrower, the leaves are, which is why I had to buy it. You guys know I have a weakness for Sansevierias. Um, we'll keep on going. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this Sansevieria too has like new growth. Where are we you guys? Sorry, in, right in there. So he's doing really good. Um, it has some damage on a leaf. I haven't cut it. Um, it got hit by a bow and arrow. I'm not sure if my two-year-old or my four-year-old or my 40-year-old. He's not quite 40, but I'm not sure if he did it or not. Look at that mustache, you guys. Sexy man. It is not a normal mustache. That was a joke. Um, he lost a bet. Anyways, this is incredible. That tall, I don't even know what it is, leaf. Um, I don't know what they're called. Spike um, was a new growth from last year. But what is back here? A whole new baby. Look at that, you guys. So I don't know what this this plant is going to do. It's a Sansevieria. It's a starfish. Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it's going to grow the same way. Um, so we'll see. Like, we'll see what it grows out to look like. I don't know. It might just be like the tall spikes. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my gosh. There's a little picture of me when I was a little kid. I was one. Or maybe I was number one. I'm ah, number there's one. me. Okay, here, um, silver satin pothos, really growing great, lots of legs. Um, I cut all these legs off last year going into the winter so I could propagate them. And we have like four legs, five, that are trailing over the pot already. So it grew so great this winter. Okay, we are literally going to walk into my dirty kitchen, and I'm so sorry, you guys. It's so gross. Look, there's a little penny. Anyways, um, what did I want to show you? So I propagated all of these guys and look at that growth. One leaf, two leaf. There's one brand new leaf right there. I think that's it. <laughs> that's it. Not that impressive, but I'm so excited about it. You guys know this was like a dream plant of mine. Um, and I'm so incredibly excited, um, to have gotten it. Like just the leaves are so great. They're just shimmery and um they're just so gorgeous and i love the color pattern i can't believe i'm showing you guys my dirty sink right now this is me um also you can see all this new growth maybe you can't the lighting is not great um new growth right there on these ponytail palms they're so happy i had to move um my money tree money plant whatever it is into the kitchen, um, it was dropping all of its leaves. And I thought, I'm doing everything else right, <laughs> I think. Um, so maybe it just needed more sun. Um, and it used to be over by, I don't even know, by the diffuser in the other room. Um, and it just, it seems much happier over here. So I'm just gonna keep it here for a little bit, do something else. Oh, and I wanted to show you, so I have some cuttings over here. I just made, um, a video about propagating the these peperomias so far so good um i have the moonshine sansevieria that here we go um let me get a better angle maybe this is this is the one that broke off from the bunk bed fiasco um but it's rooting great um it's going to be fine and then the kids or the dogs i don't know someone got into um, another Sansevieria broke it off. And so I cut, it was just one, one long one. Um, there it went something like this. Let's see if I can get all the pieces together for you guys. And anyways, I literally cut it into four pieces. We're having spaghetti for dinner. Um, I cut it into four pieces and then curved the top so that I knew what, it, what side was the top. Um, so I could root towards the bottom. Um, and I'm sitting them out to dry for a couple days. Otherwise, the bottoms get waterlogged. So anyways, those are just hanging out here in my dirty kitchen. And we started some seeds indoors. Um, this is for our vegetable garden outside. It's going to get echoey in here, guys, because we still don't have carpet. You know I'm so long-winded, so bear with me, guys. Okay, so bird's nest, right? Blue fern. I don't know. You guys know I'm so bad with names. I think this is a blue fern. Let's see if I can get some better light. I kept it alive. 
there are some baby fronds in there. So it's crispy. <laughs> this year I'm gonna put it outside and see if that will make it better. Um, I'll keep it in the shade, sorry. I'll keep it in the shade um, and see if the Missouri humidity will make it happier. Anyways, down here, you guys, this guy is so happy. Um, this was a rescue I bought from Lowe's. Um, I cut everything off, gave it a huge haircut, um, propagated a lot of it, and now like you can just see the massive tiny leaves up top here, all brand new. I put in um, some of the clippings down there after they rooted. Um, it's just much, okay, it's okay, girl. Um, it's just much happier after the haircut got through the winter and we've just got all of these new leaves coming in, coming in everywhere. There we go up here. So anyways, really excited about that. Okay, let me pause for a minute. Dan's coming. Okay, we're back. Um, I think this is probably the most exciting part, guys, the Monstera. I mean, you can already tell what leaf is brand new, um, but what you can't see, let me move this over here. There's two other leaves that are brand new. There's one unfurling right now, today as we speak. Um, and like down deep on in there are others, lots of them, <laughs> lots of little ones, um, some other big, big ones. Um, anyways, this guy is definitely at the point. Let me see if I can even get down there. Um, look at that. I mean, it's just a jungle mess. It's going to have to be cut time to propagate ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. That will be one of our new adventures. This is my, um, Sansevieria, like mother plant, I guess, where all of my other babies have come from. And let's see if we can get you down in there. Um, like there's a whole brand new leaf. There's a whole nother one in there. I need to find out what these are called. Spikes, leaves, I'm gonna call them leaves. Um, there's another one deep down in this one. I mean, it's like growing crazy, guys. Sorry, there's the wall. Um, anyways, I'm really happy with that plant. It's just doing so well. And then, there's not a whole lot here. This is the arrangement that my parents sent um, for a recent loss. And there are um, out some little ones. So here is a new um, Calathea leaf. No, yeah, no, Maranta, sorry. A new Maranta leaf that's gonna be coming out. This one is new. You can see it's lighter green and it's like still kind of uncurling on the edge here. Um, of course, we have some more philodendron leaves. There's another one there. Um, it's really doing good. This plant is happy. This is a syngonium um, arrowhead plant. I've never had one before, so if you have any tips for what I can do to keep it happy, um, or if you have other tips about an arrangement, I have a video about this arrangement when it was brand new, um, but any tips for me would be greatly appreciated. Okay, guys, close your eyes now. <laughs> We're gonna walk into my super messy construction zone. Look, I got all my babies. It's like dirty, dirty bedroom. Anyways, I wanted to show you one thing I wanted to say in here. Um, this is one of my peperomias, a silver frost. And I just made a video of propagating this guy, but what I didn't talk about is that it's doing so great in artificial light. Like you can see, this is my bathroom. There's the window. That's north facing, so there's not a ton of light in here. Um, but this guy has like this little night light here, um, the overhead light, and then like look at all the babies in there. Like it's doing so great. Um, so if you can ever come across one of these, grab it. Um, and if you see it starting to wilt or not do well, I think it loves the humidity in here. Um, but you know, give it a shot because it's working out for me. Um, we have, of course, another Sansevieria because I am addicted. I just love like the lemon lime outer edges of this one, so great. But there's not a whole lot of growth happening on that guy yet. Um, and then here's my other Peperomia. Um, also doing really well, and my dirty laundry, so sorry guys. I'm also doing really well in here. And like I said, just a little bit of light, um, like artificial light and stuff.
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for sticking it through this really long-winded video. I didn't mean for it to be this long, um, but I, I guess I didn't realize how much new growth I had on all of these plants. But they're looking so good, and like I said, it's the first week of March, so I'm sure we're going to have a ton of growth this year, which means I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks again, you guys, for tuning in. And of course, comment below if you're new. Introduce yourself. Let me know what your favorite plants are. We can talk plants. Um, I love to make friends. So thank you guys again, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.